Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to my channel. So I'm really excited. Uh, today I actually saw Top Gun Maverick twice. And this is actually the third time I can I remember ever doing that. Uh, the first time was when I saw The uh, Departed and the second time was when I saw Nightcrawler. I remember when I saw Nightcrawler that, that I had seen it that afternoon and then I went on a date that night and she had not seen it and really wanted to so I thought let's check it out again. So <laughs> this is kind of the benefit of having uh, AMC A-List and Regal Unlimited. You kind of see movies. You can see movies anytime you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. It you know, it doesn't really matter how much of, how much movies cost. You know, because you're paying a flat fee every month. So it, that's that's something I really recommend. I, I wouldn't recommend people getting both necessarily, but get one or the other. If you really like to see movies and you like to see you know, at least two movies a month, it's it's well worth it. I think it, based on you know if you if you know what movie ticket prices are, uh, it really really helps to have a membership like that. But uh, so this movie was uh, directed by Joseph Kaczynski, and uh, he he had actually worked with Tom Cruise before on a, a movie called Oblivion, which is I think is a really really underrated movie. Has a uh, Morgan Freeman's in it. Uh, I, I think it's great. Uh, you know I, I I always talk about this movie and I never hear anybody else really talk about it. But but Tom Cruise is really great in this. Um, this is going to be a spoiler review. Uh, I, I have to. Kind of say that because it's something I can't really talk about without giving spoilers. It's got so many special moments, and I just I just want to talk about them. Uh, the movie runs at 131 minutes. It has, uh, of course, Tom Cruise, has Miles Teller, Jennifer Connelly, uh, Glenn Powell. He plays a plays a character called Hangman. Hangman, and he's kind of a kind of a hybrid of maverick and Iceman in a lot of ways his character is kind of like both it's kind of cocky like that but he's he's a good guy he's just kind of really cocky uh it has a john ham he's really great in, in it uh, charles parnell he's really great and i really love the cameo from val kilmer in this uh, it, it was great just to to see tom cruise and val kilmer in, together uh, again uh, you know since the original top gun was in 1986 and i was like like 13 when that movie was released so it was great to see them, you know, Val Kilmer, if you know his uh, medical history in recent years, it, it was really kind of touching to see see him there. And uh, they did something, uh, use like AI to kind of make him talk, because if, if you know him, he had throat cancer and he can't speak anymore. So that was really kind of sad, but uh, I just loved, loved the way they handled it. I thought they did it with a lot of class and it made it really special. Um, the, the movie... <laughs> The movie, uh, to me, it, it reminds me a lot of, uh, some scenes are a lot like Star Wars in a lot of ways, uh, spe especially like the at the end, uh, I thought the hangman kind of bailed them out, kind of, it was kind of Han Solo-esque in a lot of ways, and just the, 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 the battle, uh, the way they kind of um, set up everything so they can attack these, these uh, weapons that the enemy has, and they don't really say what, what country it is that they're attacking, they just kind of kept it neutral. They just said the country was was uh, going against uh, NATO laws, and and then uh, the U.S. had to do something about it because they they were going to develop nuclear weapons, and so they had to destroy that their their capabilities to to have that. Cause obviously, you know, <laughs> they they might actually you know attack other countries, and, and you know it, it it could be really really deadly for everyone. So they had, the U.S. had to do something about it. Which um, I I really love how this movie. Uh, this movie has, it's kind of, if, if you know the Hot Shots movies with uh, Charlie Sheen, the, those movies were really making fun of Top Gun. And I thought that this movie really kind of embraced that in a lot of ways. And it kind of made fun of itself in some ways and in some scenes. Uh, some of the, the, the flight, uh, the patterns that they did when they're, they're practicing in the movie, I, I thought, I really love that. There's a scene, I thought, the first time I saw it, uh, when, when Miles Teller plays the song Great Balls of Fire, it, I thought it was kind of cheesy, but then... Then when I was seeing it the second time, I realized that, that the little boy sitting on, on the, uh, the piano as, as his dad was playing that was, was actually the rooster character that Miles, that Miles uh, Teller is playing, which is Bradley Bradshaw is his name. And it was kind of a callback when Tom Cruise saw that. He, it reminded him of Goose playing that song. And it, the song Great Balls of Fire, I guess it's, it's kind of a timeless classic, but you don't really expect uh, people in their 30s or early 40s to really kind of love that song. But in the movie, they're kind of acting like they they they, they really love the song, which you know, I, but it kind of made sense just from that way. Just they, it was a, a callback that Tom Cruise can remember uh, the Goose character playing that before, so it, it made sense seeing it the second time. So I I like the first two acts of this movie a lot, uh, 
but the third act is, was really great. Uh, I thought it's, it's everything you want to see from a Hollywood movie. It, it you know, it, it, some of it's kind of predictable, uh, but it, 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 it's everything you want to see though. It, it, just, it paid off everything. You know, they're, they're, they're flying really low. So the, the, the enemy's missiles can't, can't take them out, you know? And it, it, it like I said, it kind of reminds me of the, 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 the plans to destroy the Death Star is kind of similar to that. So and I didn't mind those kind of callbacks. It, like I said, it was predictable, but, but it it was fun and it was having fun with it. You know, it, you just kind of tell they, they weren't necessarily just ripping off other movies. They, they were just, they were having fun with it. And it, it and you know, I thought it it made it really enjoyable, enjoyable, and people lo- are loving this movie. Uh, both times I saw it today, both theaters were were completely sold out. Obviously, it's Memorial Day, so it's it's you know, people were were off today, but yeah, you know, but you know, just word of mouth has gotten around that 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 uh, this movie is really worth seeing. So I think that that's why big crowds are coming out. Um, and I, like I said, the third act really pays off everything. And and this was a. The third time I, I've seen it, so I, I thought I saw it on Thursday night, and then and then both times today. So it got, it's kind of gotten better every time I, I've seen it, and um, you know I think it, it it goes by a lot faster the, the second time you see it. The scenes that you know you just kind of you kind of re- remember everything, and this is you know the, this is near the the third act, and uh, you know it's 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 great in that where uh, what Rooster and, and Maverick get shot down, they they well Maverick gets shot down trying to trying to save uh rooster and then rooster goes to to bail him out and then both of them have to get off this get out of this country without getting you know getting uh shot down and, and killed so it, it made it all great but then i really like to hear people's comments uh, let me know was that third act uh, really a, as strong as as, I, as i'm I, i'm perceiving it because it seems like a lot of people really like it uh, and you can see that if you see all the redness in my face here, it's because I went to the uh, Indy 500 on on Sunday, uh, yesterday, and and uh, even though I used sunblock, uh, it it was I was sitting in the sun for several hours and it it, it just burned my face up. So that's why that's why I look uh, it looks so red right now. It's uh, more red than than normal. Please put a like on this video. It really helps my channel out when, when you put a like on the video, and uh, and have a good night. Thank you. Bye.